We have been fishing the flats boat in, uh, in the shallows in south, southwestern Florida where we live. It is a wonderful device for the purpose, inexpensive to run, uh, quite fast, and it is quite comfortable running in shallow water. Just two, three days ago we were out there and we were over acres and acres of um, maybe a foot and a half worth of water over grassland, which was uh, an ideal place for, well, for some of the local species. Uh, the water was clear, it was pretty. In the winter we usually do have clear water. It doesn't turn to nasty killer water until Okeechobee opens up after the wet season. So we're now up away from Okeechobee's murderous drop of poison into the waters and the waters have been cleared up. Anyway, the issue with the cats, the flats boat is again the lack of room inside. You put in a fish, uh, uh, what you call a bucket, a uh, taco box in a cooler and there is no room to walk along the the floor of the boat. So if you're fishing in the bow and you have to come back to get a piece of bait, you have to navigate all these things in the floor before you can get to it in the back. And like I say, it's inconvenient. So what we decided to do, what I decided to do, was to make a small uh, rack to hold the knife, the fish, the hooker, a pair of pliers and, uh, and, a pair of, and a pair of scissors. The idea would be that they always be, would be in a given spot that would live on the boat and it would require, it would remove the need to bring in a tackle box to have those devices on hand. So here I am in the shop building these things and uh, again I'm doing it with uh, spare pieces of, of uh, starboard that I had and like I said, it only took a few minutes and it came out pretty good. I hope uh, that you enjoy looking at, uh, at this process and at the finished product once, once it is mounted on the boat. Thank you. Welcome to my shop. It is, uh, as you can see, set up to work on wood. I, one of my hobbies is woodworking and I make uh, very fine furniture, turnings, things like that. And I have at the end of the shop, at the opposite end, uh, steel working equipment, welding equipment, uh, a lathe, um, and so on and so forth. So it is my hobby, what I do with my free time. Anyway, as you can see, I gather some spare pieces of um, starboard that I had laying around and decided to build this this uh, little accessory for the boat. I made it wide so that if a knife was stored in there, it would not protrude out of the bottom. The, con the concern was a uh, safety concern. I didn't want us to be walking by and brushing against it and end up getting cut by a knife that is in the holder and it protrudes out of the bottom. So the thing is uh, wide enough for a good uh, bait knife to go in there. Also a pair of scissors so we can cut braid and other stuff with it. And uh, a small uh, fish remover hook and a pair of pliers. So I think we have achieved that objective. Building it was relatively simple. And the main, the most work that I had to do was to remove the plastic film out of the starboard that is there to protect it. It protects it, but if it's four or five years old, like this thing was in my storage, the film gets, well, damaged, and then it won't peel off. So it takes a fair amount of work to get it cleaned up. So anyway, bottom line, I was able to do that and they come out looking pretty decent. The other thing I, I had to do was to assemble it, I use a glue gun and I glue gun all the pieces in place so they would stay put. 
and then from the back side I ran a, a pre-drill hole uh, with a head of the screw and put in three little screws there to hold the, the center pieces and the two on the edge were left as they were because the screw that is going to hold it against the boat should be more than strong enough to hold the spacers at the two ends. So again, the spacers at the two ends are held in place by the screws that, that will hold it onto the boat. It is a simple thing, but I believe it should make uh, the boat much more fun to use. Um, I have at the end of this uh, this video a picture of how I came out. Um, box knife next to it to show how small it really is because again this is a 16 foot boat and anything of any size would be well unwelcome it would overpower the boat so it is purposely made as small as possible I hope you like this how-to video and that you enjoyed it. I also hope that you will subscribe and that you will leave me your comments as to what type of videos you would like to see me create in the future. Thank you very much and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.